Hi, my name is James Howard Young. I'm a professional recorder player and arranger living in Denmark. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Recorder by Ardenoise, which is an Italian company. It's a very affordable and unique instrument which can function either as an acoustic recorder or as a MIDI controller. Here's a project I did recently using this instrument as a MIDI controller. Now the recorder has no built-in digital sounds, so in order to make it play we have to either use it as a MIDI device as you've just seen, or we can hook it up to a mobile device. Uh, there's information on how to hook up the recorder to all sorts of mobile devices at recorderinstruments.com. You can go there and look at tutorials on how to hook it up, and that will allow you to play with uh, some sounds that they have. Today I wanted to walk you through recording a project of mine which I arranged a few years ago, the Concerto for Three Harpsichords in D minor of Bach. I arranged it for acoustic recorder, so three acoustic recorder parts, and I play the orchestra part on the recorder, so I use the recorder for the string parts and the acoustic recorder for uh, the solo parts, and we're going to combine those two instruments to make the overall orchestral texture. Now, in order to get string parts, you can go online. Um, there's a lot of options for software instruments. Some of them require payment, some of them are free. I use Audio Modeling Solo Strings, which I like quite a bit, but there are a lot of options out there. You can just do a search. Once we've downloaded or purchased our software instrument, we can load it into our Digital Audio Workstation. I use Logic Pro. We create a new software instrument track, and then we want to insert the instrument which we can find in this list of instruments. Now each software instrument will have its own parameters which you can control using the recorder. Oftentimes there's MIDI mapping uh, so you can actually change which uh, MIDI mapping goes from the recorder to your software instrument. Now in order to play string parts on the recorder you need to be aware of what range each instrument has. I arranged the orchestra parts so that they'll fit on soprano, alto, tenor, and bass recorder. Fortunately, the recorder app on the mobile device allows you to change fingering. So if you want to change to an alto recorder, you can make your recorder play an F, for example. Uh, there's an F recorder here. And you can change the fingering based on what recorder you're using. Now, once you load your stringed instruments, you can play it using the recorder I have a fairly straight tone on this violin, but I can add vibrato by uh, using my breath. Um, so it's a very responsive instrument. You can add um, all kinds of expressive tools that you'd normally use on the recorder. Uh, double tonguing works fine. Uh, so it's very quick, a very quick response. Um, it's, at, it's very easy to play, and so you can use it for very complex orchestral arrangements. Now, since the recorder has programmable fingering, we can play instruments in any range uh, of the orchestra. So here it is with a cello loaded. Now, this is uh, two octaves lower than the violin. Uh, we can hear how that sounds. You can play any instrument you want with a recorder, you just change the fingering. Um, you can make it lower or higher, uh, and you can play basically any instrument you want that way. Now we're going to record the first violin using the recorder. Uh, we're going to time it up with a metronome and sync it up and play along with that, and then we will lay down our orchestra tracks. Once you've finished putting the orchestra down, you can add the acoustic recorder as a soloist. Okay. 
And once you set the whole thing together, you can listen to it and see how it sounds. So that was a brief introduction to multi-tracking using the recorder by Arden Noise. Now I think this is an amazing instrument. It's, it's very lightweight, it's easy to play, um, it's designed similar to a recorder, so it has uh, the same whole setup. One thing to be aware of is that you cannot uh, rest your pinky here like you might do that on an acoustic recorder because it will uh, cause a disturbance, so you need to play with a pinky in the air. Um, other than that, the articulation is, is spot on. It's, it's extremely responsive. I didn't notice a problem with latency whatsoever. For me, it was an immediate instrument and I could play it um, in consort with my, with my acoustic recorder. And the acoustic recorder and the digital recorder uh, both responded the same. So I didn't actually notice any latency whatsoever. I had no problem using this in any of my projects. Uh, so I would heartily recommend it uh, for anybody that's interested in making arrangements or for uh, adding an orchestra part, uh, for adding a little more life to a MIDI, to a software instrument. If you want to add maybe a little more expression, you can use this instrument. Uh, the recorder, it's portable, it's easy to use, it's lightweight, costs next to nothing, um, and it's just a perfect solution. So if you're watching this video and you have anything you want me to look at in the next video, just let me know in the comments and I will do so. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.